Hey everybody, it's Matt from RVTravelAdventures.com. Uh, I know a lot of us have missed out on a lot of camping this spring, uh, getting through quarantine, getting through this COVID-19 crisis, uh, hoping everybody's staying home, staying safe. Uh, but uh, like you guys, so we've taken advantage of this time to do some uh, modifications, some maintenance on our camper. So uh, in addition to getting up and cleaning the roof, servicing the wheels, uh, tire pressures, all your normal maintenance. Uh, we also got to do some stuff inside. So uh, we posted some pictures about the uh, modification we did to our uh, drawer under our fridge. So make sure you check those out on social media. Uh, but we also uh, took a little time to kind of reorganize our basement storage, uh, make better use of that space and uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. So uh, let's check it out. All right, pretty basic basement storage. It is nice, big pass-through storage, uh, but things kind of got cluttered in there, so we uh, did some modifications over while we were uh, not camping this spring. So we went ahead and added two shelves in. The top one's just high enough to put all our chairs. We got a little second shelf in there to put some other miscellaneous stuff, and then the bottom's got a nice big section uh, where we can put our folding tables, uh, trash cans, uh, any extra accessories. Mounted a couple of pipes to hold our broom uh, and used a lot of command hooks and other types of hooks. Uh, we got our uh, dustpan hanging up there. On the other side, we put in some nice heavy duty clips uh, to be able to hold our extra propane hoses for our grill and our blackstone. So, uh, very few studs in here, so you got to be real careful finding stuff and put in some nice big long strapping to get between those metal studs uh, and the wood studs. But once you do, there's a great opportunity to kind of organize your stuff, uh, make better use of your overall space. So uh, that's uh, on our passenger side, our campground side. Uh, again, a couple of shelves in there. We also have enough room to still put a Rubbermaid tub in there with some of our miscellaneous stuff. All right, over here on the mechanical side, we got our normal hookups like everybody else. Uh, but we went ahead and uh, mounted a charger up here for our Ryobi battery packs that we use for all of our portable tools. Uh, and then on the other side, we went ahead and put a big long tool rack. So uh, lots of hooks up here that we'll be able to hold our um, extra power cables, cable, extension cords, all that good stuff. A couple of hooks for a flashlight and a wrench. Plenty of room for all of our leveling jacks. In here behind the water, put a nice big heavy duty hook. Uh, that's where we're keeping our extra 30 feet of power cable that we don't need much, but it's kind of tucked back in there for when we do need it. And again, we left plenty of room up here in the front uh, for another Rubbermaid tub if we need it. So much more usable space. We're looking forward to uh, not having to dig through all of our stuff when we get to the campsites, make things a little bit easier on us. Thanks for checking us out. Again, this is Matt from RVTravelAdventures.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be safe, guys. We'll see you out there on the road.